Hey everyone, this is Nadia from the Cognitive Forms team, and in this video we're going to walk through the basics of working with calculations. The Cognitive Forms Builder supports robust calculations that allow you to compute field values, set default values, control the visibility of fields, implement field validation, and much, much more. Calculations can be quite simple. For example, you could add up the values from two number fields. Or you can build calculations that are far more complex depending on what you're trying to accomplish. For now, we're just going to cover the basics. If you open the form builder, you'll find the calculation field over in the add field menu. In the calculation box, you can enter a constant or literal value like 1. On the form, this value will appear as a read-only field. In addition to constant values, you can also use this field to display calculated values. The first thing you'll need when creating a calculation is an equal sign. Next, go ahead and enter your calculation. For example, let's try 2 plus 2. Once you pull up the form, the calculation runs and displays the total. Now that's pretty cool, but where calculations really come in handy is with the ability to use values from other fields on the form. For example, let's add two number fields to our form. Using a calculation, I want to add up the total of the values entered in these two fields. As before, we need an equal sign to get started. As you write your calculations, Cognitiform supports auto-completion to show you the values that are appropriate to enter in the calculation, including field names and functions. Additionally, if you type a period after a section or value, you can access fields or functions within it. So I'm just going to type or select the name of my first number field and then add it to the second number field. Once a user enters values into those fields, our calculation will instantly add them up. Now, on occasion, you may create a calculation that doesn't quite work. Maybe you mistype the name of a field, maybe you use the wrong operator somewhere, whatever the case may be, mistakes do happen to the best of us. When there's an error in your calculation, Cognitive Forms will display an error indicator to help you know when a calculation isn't working, and it'll let you know exactly why it stopped working. Along with the error indicator, you also notice the lightning bolt icon in the calculation box. Selecting this icon will pull up the calculation editor, which gives you a bit more space to work with when writing longer calculations. Speaking of that lightning bolt, the calculation field isn't the only place where you can create calculations on your forms. For example, if you check out the date field settings, you'll notice lightning bolts next to the default value as well as the minimum and maximum date ranges. These are all places where you can enter calculations. To test this out, let's see if we can set the default value of our date field to today's date. As I mentioned earlier, you can type in a constant value, which in this case would be a static date that doesn't change. Or you can create a calculation that always represents the current date. To do this, we're gonna use a special function called datetime and specify today as the value. Now when you view your form, today's date is selected by default. Another way to use calculations is within conditional logic. If you're not familiar with conditional logic, it's basically the ability to take people on a unique path through your forms by setting rules that are only enforced under certain conditions. You can use conditional logic to show or hide certain fields and pages, send emails to people at specific times, conditionally require fields, and more. Cognitiforms provides a builder for creating conditional calculations, which lets you specify conditions for one or more fields. 
For example, using this interface, I can set the date field to only appear when another field on the form is filled out. The basic editor makes it easy to insert these calculations, but you can also switch to the advanced editor to see what these calculations look like behind the scenes. Be sure to check out our help topic to learn more about what you can do with conditional logic. Now that you understand the basics of how to write calculations, let's talk about the different types of calculations you can create. Most data collected via forms is usually some form of text. For example, the text box, choice, rating scale, name, address, phone, email, website, and calculation text field types all represent text values. You can specify constant text values in your expressions by simply putting text inside quotes. There are a lot of functions you can use in calculations to manipulate text values. For example, if you have a name field on your form, you can use a function to automatically make the name lowercase. As we saw earlier, it's pretty easy to write calculations that work with numbers. Both the number and currency field types support numerical values, as well as calculation fields set to the number, percent, or currency types. You can perform any basic numeric calculations, including addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and even greater than or equal to equations. Dates are an essential component of any form involved with scheduling or recording events. To capture date input, just add a date field and select the date type. You can also create calculated fields set to the date type. When it comes to calculations, there are a ton of useful functions for validating or manipulating dates. For example, you can use the addDates function in the maximum date range to ensure that the latest date allowed is within the next 10 days. Yes-no fields are great to use in calculations because they represent actual yes-no values called Boolean values. Many of the calculation operations and functions return these type of values so they can be really helpful in your calculations. For example, you can use an equal sign to evaluate whether or not the yes-no field is true or false. One of the unique features of cognitive forms is the ability to capture repeating data on forms, such as a list of emergency contacts or a list of job references. To capture repeating data, just add a repeating section or table to your form and add the fields you want to capture in the repeating section. Then you can use a variety of functions to reference or manipulate the repeating data, including the select function.
here, if I use the select function, I can display all of the names and put it into the name field. The examples I've mentioned so far only represent a small fraction of all the functions you can use in your calculations. You can refer to our calculation help topics for comprehensive documentation of all the functions supported by Cognito Forms. If you have any questions about writing calculations, be sure to get in touch with us at hello at cognitoforms.com.